You want to change your danger mouse from this to this? Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do it. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the show. Rock and Roll here. Guys, today we have a good one. We are not opening up any sodas. None. Zero. Probably the first time in a year that I haven't opened any sodas on the channel. But today I've been asked this a lot lately. Figured I'd have to run the video. I'm going to show you guys how to make a Funko Soda Custom. So, what I'm going to do is go through everything that you need. I'm just going to show you what I do. And we'll go through everything, how I prep it and everything. And then um, you guys can go back, shoot your own custom, and send me the photos. We'll have a contest and give away a prize in a future video. But this, guys, this is going to be fun. I want to see what you guys can create. So we are going to take a Danger Mouse, a common Danger Mouse, right? And we are going to turn it into Danger Mouse as Mickey. Here's the two of them side by side. This is this is them. There they are. All right. So let's get through this. I want to um, start off by saying, guys, if you're under 18, 16, please get your parents' help if you're watching this video. It's very dangerous. When we start boiling the figure, it gets very hot. Um, paint can be very bad if you inhale a bunch of fumes so there is some danger in some of this stuff if you're a little kid or younger kid um, so please get your parents permission and help uh, before you start all right <sighs> disclaimer out of the way all right the first thing you want to do is plan your design take your figure figure out what you're going to paint how you're going to paint it that's very important look at it to see what part of the fit what part of the figure is going to come apart so that'll help you plan your paint so that's a good idea. Just plan it all out before you even get started. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is take some alcohol. I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I buy. Take some alcohol and a paper towel, and all you're gonna do is rub it all over the figure. Okay, rub it all over there. You're just getting off all the excess stuff from the mold, but get that alcohol, get that little bit of goopy stuff off. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is safety first, kids. You're going to get a pair of gloves. I got these. Uh, they're rubber gloves, but they have a grip on the inside. Okay. You're going to get some gloves. And you're going to get a pot that you're not going to want to use after you do this. So, um, boiling figures, it's going to leave uh, that plasticky residue glue stuff in your pot. So, I use this one over and over again. And uh, you're just not going to want to use it for cooking afterwards. So get a pan, go to Target or something, and buy a cheap one. doesn't have to be this big. This is way too big. Um, but this is the one I wanted to use. Get yourself a wooden spoon or something to stir it with. Flip it over. Okay. And so once it's all wiped down, you right, start the stove. Get your water up to boil and throw your figure in there. Um, boil your figure for about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I'll show some clips here of what it looks like when I'm boiling a figure. Safety first, kids. So you're going to boil it for 10 minutes, Get it. Take put your gloves on, take it out, and you'll see which part of the, the figure is going to come apart easy. There's one arm. Oh, 
You want to take your time with the head because you don't want it to snap off inside. You want it to come out like that. Sometimes you got to put it back in the water. This one's fairly easy to take apart. And now we got the body. See how it's coming apart? Once it comes apart, then you just play with it, let it peel. And there you go. Danger Mouse is disassembled. So then you want to pull those off real easy. Um, you don't want to rip it. You don't want those joints to stay inside the figure. You want to be able to pull it apart. Do it nice and easy. If it doesn't come right off, put it back in the water. Let it boil for a couple more minutes. All right, so now you got your figure in pieces. Um, you're going to attach your figure. Let me get this out of here. I use uh, plastic straws. Okay, I was going to go down a parts list, but I'll show you as I go through it. You want to go to the store and grab yourself some paper straws, all right, so you can cut these, move them around, make different shapes at the tip. And then you're going to attach your figure. This is an Iron Man figure um, that I'm doing right now, and you're going to attach it to the end of the paper straw, okay? And you want to put it on the joint, on the, uh, joint part up here where it's not going to mess up your paint on the actual uh, piece that you're painting. Okay, you see how I have that uh, paint tape attached to the figure like that? Now the head doesn't really have a, a tab to attach it with, so I just stick the figure, that big hole in its head, wrap some masking tape around it and shove it up inside the head. So now I can paint it, spray it, don't get it all over my hands. All right, so you've already boiled your figure. It's all come apart. It looks it it's in pieces. Okay guys, so now we have it all taken apart. So what we're gonna do is you don't wanna paint, make sure you don't paint these right out of the boiling water. Let these cool down until they're completely cool. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some masking tape, put it on the end of the paper straw, and I'll show you show you what I mean these are the paper straws and all I do is make a ball at the end just real loose ball because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in the head of danger mouse and you just spin it around there till it goes in and you want to make sure that you don't have any overlap onto the figure because you're gonna if you're gonna spray paint this, you'll definitely spray paint it with primer. Uh, you don't want any of the tape covering up the figure. Okay, so there's the head. It's ready to paint. What I like to do is put it in my cup, and it's now it's ready. Now it's ready for primer. Okay. So now let me show you a trick. This will save you some time. Um, if I was gonna, this one I'm gonna actually stuff in a straw as well. But if this was a long one uh, that didn't have an opening like this, what I do is I take a screw, a wood screw, tape it into a, a paper straw. And what I would do is screw it into this very carefully. And I'll show you real quick. I'm not going to do this one this way, but if I was, you can screw it into the end of the figure like that, and then now you can paint it without having to hold the figure. Okay? But for this one, I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the head. Okay? I'm just going to wrap it, wrap a, a paper straw, and stick it in the end that way. Okay? Uh, but let me show you this trick. This figure doesn't really have any flat ends that need to be taped, but this is what I do. This is what I do when I have to put a, a figure like this onto a straw. Um, I like to put the, the masking tape just on the end of it and push it on there really good halfway. Okay, so see how it's only on halfway and then I turn it around, right? I go up the edge, okay, edge like that, and I go up the other edge like that and I push on the tape really good so it doesn't come off. Then, 
you can take your straw. This one's recycled, reused. So I'm going to stick the straw there, fold the tape over onto the rest of the figure, and then bring the other side around. Now I've grabbed the straw and the figure at the same time, and now it's on a straw ready to be painted. All right, so the, I'll just finish the rest of these pieces and it'll be ready for primer. All right, so the next thing, once you get it in this form, you get it all in the straws, these are all, every part gets a straw because I don't want to be touching it and holding it and trying to paint it, okay? So the next thing you want to do is you want to spray it with primer. And guys, make sure you wear a mask. Um, the fumes can get kind of nasty. Uh, it depends on what color you're going to finalize your figure. You can use either gray or white. This is the two that I use. Um, if it's going to be a bright figure with light colors, you want to use white. If it's going to be a dark figure, mostly black or dark colors, go ahead and just use the gray primer. Primer white. And remember kids, wear a mask, safety first. Very light coats. Keep it moving. And that's the first coat. So yeah, if it doesn't cover much, you're gonna have to do a couple coats. All right, once you've uh, sprayed the primer, let it dry overnight. Two coats, let it dry in between. Two coats, boom, let it sit overnight, let it get super hard, let it dry really well, and then come back the next day. Then you're gonna paint the figure, okay? Here's the paints that I use. Um, now, there's good and bad paints. People ask me all the time, what kind of paint do you use? This is what I'm trying out right now. Um, try your own types. There's so many different acrylic paints out there. Um, this is the one I've tried. Some of the colors spread really easy. Some of them are pretty crappy. Uh, it, it's, it's a test. Uh, you want to go with more expensive paint. The cheaper paints that you get at Michael's for like two bucks, don't do it. It's a waste of time. It'll just smear. It won't do good coverage. So make sure you don't skimp on the paint, okay? It's very important. Um, the paint brushes, same thing. You want to get some good paint brushes, uh, get some different tips. So you can get a real, real thin one. Um, for details and then you can get a flat one if you want like have a bunch of edges and stuff this is a good brush but they're not cheap so get some good brushes it'll it'll go on smoother real easy for you and while you're painting it what I used to I picked these up some q-tips um, and these ones actually have the fine the fine tip on the ends so in case you're painting um, it and have a little cup of water next to you, you start painting, just use this to, if you overdo a line, just do it real easy with some water and it should come up before it dries. Once it dries, it's too late. You're going to have to go back and paint it over. Um, also, when I start painting, I just grab some Dixie cups, just some small paper Dixie cups. And this is what I put my paint on. Um, these are cheap. You can throw them away afterwards. Um, they stand up on the table. You know, they got a lip on it, so it's really good. You don't have to go buy a plastic thing to put all your paints in and stuff. Just use Dixie cups, throw them away when you're done. That's what I use. All right, so once you paint the figure, now take your time, let it dry in between coats. Don't get all excited and keep going, keep going, because then you'll mess it up. Let it, take your time, let it dry in between coats. Um, and then once you're all done painting that last coat, just let it sit overnight, let it be done. They're still gonna be in this form right here. Okay, you're still painting them in this these forms. All right, I put them as I'm painting them. Once I put them in there, I should have showed you this before. I take a solo cup, put some some uh, tape in it like this around the edge, and then make it like this. So then I can stick. I always I just put some rocks from the yard down underneath it, so it keeps it bottom heavy. And then you can put your figures like that into the different sections. And then they won't touch each other like that. That's what I do. Um, overnight, they can sit there. They won't touch each other or whatever. This, this is what I do. 
All right, so once you let it dry overnight, you're gonna take your figures again in your cup, take it outside, and you're gonna spray it with some matte. If you want it to look like a regular figure and not shiny, um, use this brand right here, I think is the best. And it says matte finish. It's not gonna give it that ultra shiny. If you do want your figure to shine like this, this is Rat Fink, the one I did. This was used with gloss uh, finish. So if you want your figure uh, glossy, use the, the uh, gloss finish. This one was done with matte finish, okay? So it doesn't have that super glare, plasticky look. I use matte. So I, I've learned now that I like the matte finish better. All right, so that you're gonna do two coats of the clear, okay? Um, once you let it dry overnight, two coats, let that dry overnight as well. Let it get super hard. You don't want it tacky when you're trying to put it back together or she'll ruin the paint job, okay? So then you're gonna take your figures off the straws and you're gonna start assembling it. Um, like this one is the Iron Man. Um, these are the holes that the arms are gonna go back in. You're gonna put a couple dabs of super glue. I use the gel with this precision point on the end. It's real easy to just put right inside that little joint and shove them in there. Uh, some of the figures, it's gonna take a little bit to get them in there. Uh, be re real careful that you don't have any glue or anything on your hands when you're touching the figure trying to put it back together because then it's gonna, it'll ruin the paint. I've done that before and it's terrible. But yeah guys, so that's it. So you'll take your figure from Danger Mouse Common, okay? From that, to Mickey and I came up with this the other day when Funko dropped the Mickey soda I'm like oh I can make that into Mickey Mouse why not so that's pretty cool I like the way it turned out I'm excited um, with mine I actually do a custom pog if you buy a custom from me um, I do a custom pog and for that figure that rat think I just cover the number quantity on one side and I keep the figure on the back and then the custom pog for display but guys that's it that's it in a nutshell i will put some little clips in there and hopefully that helped you guys to understand what i do um, hopefully this helps you learn how to do a custom but guys i'm learning every custom i do i'm learning something new so take your time try new things uh painting it with a paintbrush is not as easy as it sounds go on to youtube there's a couple painting figure videos uh, that you might want to go watch that'll teach you tricks for it not to smear and not to get all clumpy because it is a little difficult with the paintbrush. Hopefully you guys can make a figure custom. Once you make a custom, hit me up on Instagram at Rock and Roll RC. Send me your pics. I would love to see what you guys do. Um, maybe we'll have a contest in a future video. We'll give something away. So shoot it over to me when you're done. But that's all I got for you guys today. Everybody be safe. Stay happy and gosh darn it, be nice to each other. And I'll see you on the next video.